So hi everybody and welcome back to C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 294 and in this video I want to talk about value categories. But when we read here the first sentence, we will see a problem. Let's read it together. It says here each C++ expression, an operator with its operands, this one, um, a literal, a variable name, etc. And this here is very important because you can see here they say expressions are either that or that or that. In my last video I told you a literal is not an expression but here they say it is an expression and we have categorized this one as what a literal was when we go back to expressions go down we have here primary expressions and literals are actually primary expressions and I told you primary expressions are most time used for example in combination with an operator but actually no when we read here this part they don't need an operator because uh, an operator with its operands is here separate listed right this comma means it's not in combination with that and when we read this one here it says um, yeah an expression can just be a number two for example so when we go back to expression top we see I told you you have just to understand this one sentence here on top and it says an expression is a sequence of operators and their operands that specifies a computation. So this one is true, but not the only condition like we can see now. So we can see this was not correct from my side because there are other options to find or specify expressions too. And that was not clearly uh, described from my side here. And now we see this, but we see this a little bit more in detail uh, when we read this actually. Uh, this one here is, uh, let's say specifies this a little bit more in detail. What it means is, it says here each C++ expression, so in this case it means really every expression, that exists in C++ is characterized by two independent, uh, independent properties, a type and a value category. Okay, this type we know, a value category, we won't talk about this, what is this value category, but the problem here is uh, when we go back to the literals, for example, okay, when I see here, for example, this number two, right? What type is that and what value category we have here? So careful when they talk about value category, they mean not actually the value here. The number two, for example, value category has something to do with this GL value, PA value, XL value and so on, L value and so forth, right? So careful about that. But type is easy and the value category we will learn. But now the problem about this one is, I also told you here in the statement, if you remember, um, this example, what I made wrong, right? Also wrong. <laughs> this was that where I said here, I called when I introduced this one here to you, this would be an expression. Later, I opened up the statement side and said, oh, this one is a declaration statement. It is called, it is stated in the statement and we learned, okay, it's a statement. We can see every statement, not every, many statements has a semicolon. This is an indicator for a statement, but there are other statements like uh, flow control, like this if and so, which has not even a um, semicolon. There are also statements, so we can uh, identify statements. That's good, but then, I accidentally told you at start this would be an expression, but here 
it is in the category of declaration and that was then then i explained to you because they put it in a special category to emphasize that they uh, introduce here a new variable to c plus plus and that's why it is called a declaration statement but now we go back here and read this sentence it says a type in a value category interesting is now I can definitely say this one here will have a type and a value category so again it is it is again characterizing a exp an expression right so and why I'm mentioning all this kind of stuff to you is you can see it is a little bit confusing because they call it differently to emphasize different uh, things and we have to sort this and now we can sort this actually with this sentence before it was this but right now it's not only this um, because this one is the final sentence which we have to understand because this one characterizes like it says here um, every expression each C++ expression which means in every C++ what you can find if it is an expression so we have here a code if you find an expression and we learned now literals are also expression which means this number here zero for example is also an expression um, and variable names are actually also expressions interestingly and so on because they have here this sub categories here and so on but important is now we have to understand this one here a type and a value category all right that's good now we have to go here through again but i'm not going to you go through and read again a little bit about primary expressions they can be literals or this word this um, and then we have here the literals and so on but important is again this naming a little bit careful if they emphasize for example the zero here this is a literal if you are trying to describe it in C++ but at the same time a literal is a primary expression so the zero they are describing also as a primary uh, primary expression when you want highlight and emphasize again what we want to emphasize that you want to do something with the type and the value category which means I need to identify of the zero the type and um, yeah the value category to use it for something for example this one would be category what is probably an R value uh, but we have no clue what R value right now means we will go later here in this and try to figure this out in this value categories here but important is that you again understand this naming a little bit that um, when you try to emphasize something which means you want try to use of this statement because this one is also a statement yeah that we already know but this one has here again this literal and then it has here the declaration in it it has even an assignment in it and all this kind of stuff what you need to emphasize you have to identify this a little bit and then name it so but again in my um, again this is a very theoretical part to me to understand this really uh, in theory you have to read a good C++ book and this is not our job actually here in this practical part like I said in our practical part we are happy when we see the code we see that one and you can just identify what this is in yeah uh, as a beginner not in absolute detail because we don't need but we can see yes we have here a variable we assign a value to it and uh, this one has the semicolon it's a statement and uh, it is introducing a new variable declaration statement and slightly we learn all this kind of things what we see here so you can name them a little bit and again I highlight it here if you are trying to focus on uh, let's say 
uh, you want to do something with that so for example you are identifying this a little bit more and say this literal is also an expression and then you have to know an expression has what a type and your value category and then we are here actually in the topic type to find the type it's easier i think uh, to understand then the value category because the value category is that what we have to learn um, in the next video i will go here uh, to these categories uh, again not in depth because i mean there are also many exceptions and all this kind of stuff i will not cover this in uh, practical use anyway and as a beginner also not uh, but of course you should read this because like i said it's really theoretical and it's nice to understand some basics uh, don't worry if you don't understand all because it can get really heavy and there are also exceptions sometimes uh, are some confusing exceptions and so on but the general rule here for us as a beginner is we still use this one here because this operator and operands is easy if you see any operator here in your code you can uh, say okay that will be probably will have uh, is an ex probably an expression okay you can say then okay this one is a declaration statement it's a statement it's a declaration introducing variable and uh, but an expression means has this a type in your value category and then if you can identify this as well then you can have an expression and yeah that is that what i wanted to highlight it in this video because when we read here um a little bit more you can see uh, I stopped sorry for that I stopped reading here let's read this sentence a little bit more it says okay this literal and variable name you see a variable name itself can be an expression too and so on but is characterized by two uh, independent properties a type and new value category so you can see type and value category this is that what we will learn and each expression has some non-reference type okay what this means is just i will show you this uh, later when we uh, talk about expressions but um, if you understand non-reference type then you know what it means we can form a presentation of a non-reference type uh, each expression belongs to exactly one of the three pi uh, primary value categories and here again it's all again strange a little bit why they list here three when we have here five right we have to discuss about this one as well and yeah that's all about this video and in the next video we start with this talking so if you have any questions like all time write in the comment section and sorry that i confused you here again with this one so you can see literals are considered also as an expression even they are called literals and variables uh, variable names are called uh, ex, uh, are considered as expressions even they are just variable names and they are not following this sentence but they have the characterize of that all right see you in the next video bye good luck and like all time have fun and never give up